On Monday, Ohio will become the latest state to have what's called a constitutional carry law. And this means anyone over the age of 18 can carry a concealed gun without undergoing training or obtaining a permit. And that spurred Lakewood leaders to take matters into their own hands to make sure guns don't get in the wrong hands. News 5's Jesse Schultz shows us how they're planning to do that. Having a gun in the wrong hands can mean the difference between life and death. 911, what is your emergency? Lakewood Police Captain Gary Stone has seen that situation play out too many times in his 38 years on the force. And it's an issue he says is growing. I've seen quite a bit of problems and issues. It just seems more and more gun related problems. Lakewood City Council member Tom Bullock says it's time to say enough is enough when it comes to gun violence. We've had enough of children being killed in schools, people being killed in grocery stores. We've got to be able to be safe in our communities. And they're starting with this, a small lock that can make a big change. This is not about trying to deny people the Second Amendment, but it is trying to recognize that what we're doing right now isn't working and we have to start Fresh. Lakewood City Council approved a couple thousand dollars of funds to purchase 200 gun locks free to anyone who wants one. It's similar to like a bicycle lock. It has a cable that you can move through the gun's firing mechanism or the revolver uh, part of the gun and lock it so it can't be fired. The one that we have will work on both a semi-automatic pistol and a revolver. Now you've effectively locked the weapon. There's really no questions asked to get your hands on a gun lock. All you have to do is walk into the lobby here at the Lakewood Police Department, ask for one, and then while supplies last, you'll be walking out with a gun lock. The locks are first come, first serve. It's my hope that these gun locks are put to good use and they keep firearms safer in people's residences. But leaders say this is a first step of many the city will be taking to curb gun violence. Just think if for a few dollars you can prevent an accidental death of a child in the home or a suicide of somebody who's going through emotional or mental crisis or even worse than that, somebody who's going to take a weapon to uh, a public place. That's a no-brainer. Reporting in Lakewood, Jesse Schultz, News 5.